blessing, Mr. Clay. This place was crabgrass and weeds, and you brought it back to life. Mrs. Parker and I were friends. She was like family. She was the only person who ever took care of me. I just got a message saying that there's a problem with my computer. Yes, ma'am, we got this. Yesterday, she shot herself. This is private property. Do you know what they do here? Scamming the weakest in our society? Buddy, I'm counting to three. One, two, three. There, I did it for you. No, you can't take it. No, you can't. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. No, you can't Will you stomp his ass out? You're telling me one man did this. The only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. A beekeeper, a beekeeper? Well, that's not good. Beekeepers is a special program outside the chain of command. I protect the hive. When the system is out of balance, I correct it. We have laws for these things. Until they fail, then you have me. My fingers, they cut them off. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Don't move. This is much bigger than a little fishing scam. The money's going all over the world. To people in finance, even government. You are a problem. Cut them right, I'm a problem. No way he's coming here straight through the back entrance. I figured I'd give the firefighters a break. Somebody detain this guy. We have to kill him before he kills his way to the top. Honey? It's flammable as fuck. Who oh, no. I certainly hope you dance as well as you dress. There's only one way to find out. You and I, we're not so different. Agent Argyle. Little help? Hold on. The book is phenomenal, sweetie, but... What happens next? It's called a cliffhanger, Mother. Ellie, it's called a cop-out. <sighs> Hey, there's a cat in there. Oh my god, you're Ellie freaking Conway. Author of the Argyle series, Ellie Conway! I am such a fan. Oh yeah? What is it you do? Espionage. Would you sign my book? <laughs> Here we go. I love this book. People. Real life spies. Why would they care about me? Because you're a goddamn fortune teller, Ellie. Why can't you see? What you wrote in your new book actually happened, and you kicked a hornet's nest you didn't even know existed. I'm in some really big trouble, Mom. What you doing for me? Oh, so now you're experimenting with drugs. I want all assets on them now. I need her to write the next chapter. God, I hate that cat. It's time for you to meet the real Agent Argyle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
It needs a little work, but I don't think it's going to last long at this price. There's a pool. I always wanted a pool. Is this everything? We'll grow into it. Y'all ready? Marco. Hello. <laughs> Marco. Hello. <laughs> Marco. I I hear you. You need to say something back. Ronan, Marco. Marco. I can hear you. Why aren't you saying anything? Ronan, you're dead. Marco. Mr. Snow. After everything you've seen out there in the world. What are the Hunger Games for? Are you? Are you coming to the tree? The Hunger Games, they're to punish the districts. Those tributes don't have a choice. Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. We're live! Smile, it's why we have teeth. Imagine it was your name that they pulled. Strange things didn't happen here. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me. That I was still of value. Welcome to the capital. You look like you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't, but I'm your mentor. A rebel. I am going to get you out of here. You want to protect people. And it's essential to accept what human beings are. And what it takes to control them. Let's see you use that famous snow charm. You seem like a good man, Coralina Snow. I have seen what war does to people. Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction. Engulfing the world. The monsters! All of you! Good luck with that poor little songbird. Where is she? It's a mystery. And mysteries have a way of driving people. Let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? It's the things we love most that destroy us. I've got plenty to be thankful for I need this small I buy them all at the five and ten cent store Oh, I've got plenty to be thankful for I used to love this town Until what happened that night Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I'm tired of pretending like everything is normal and it's not. I want things to go back to normal, too. Show some enthusiasm. 
Thanksgiving is an institution here. Holiday again. This is weird. We're all tagged, and our names are at the table. But why us? <laughs> the longer this goes, the more twisted it gets. The weapon he's using is straight off a Thanksgiving table. I don't want to spend my life looking over my shoulder. We need to stop him. It is going to be a very happy Thanksgiving. Four years ago, I was basically unemployed. A wanderer with no home. But now, I'm a husband and a father. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I'm the idea, Pops. My job was a little less stressful than yours. <laughs> Oh yeah, I finally got a job. I'm the king of Atlantis. Half a billion people from every known species in the sea call this place home. But that doesn't mean they all like me. I'm gonna kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. I'm gonna murder his family and burn his kingdom to ash. be stopped or a global meltdown is imminent. I think I know someone I might be able to help us. Ooh, you look rough. Good job, little brother. High five. Do not call me, brother. I cannot believe you let this happen. Yeah, well, I hate this job. True king built bridges, right? <laughs> True King builds bridges. <laughs> we need to find Manta. He's different now. He's stronger than before. It's the Black Trident. During King Atlan's time, there were seven kingdoms. And the Trident was a curse upon them all. The Trident's dark magic is spreading. He means to end the bloodline. I don't know what lies ahead, but we can't leave our children in a world without hope. You're not as bad at this as you think. If you lead, the Seven Kingdoms will follow. Hi. What's your name? Priscilla Boyer. You like Elvis Presley? Of course. Who doesn't? One of the kids listening to these days. Bobby Darren, Fabian, and you. <laughs> Just what is the intent here, Mr. Presley? You got women throwing themselves at you. Why my daughter? Well, sir, I happen to be very fond of your daughter. She's much more mature than her age. What? That's 22. 22. You don't have to worry about it. Black hair and more eye makeup. I don't know if I like it. What do you mean you won't know if you like it? He's 
not like you imagine. You know, there's a lot of rumors about you. Was there something you're hiding? I don't have a goddamn thing to hide. I need a woman who understands that things like this might happen. Are you going to be here or not? and will not recognize you as queen. Our people asked the gods of the land to provide us a leader, and now they have. We fight for our freedom. Sending reinforcements that we cannot defeat. I cannot lose, you know that. On this spot, we must conquer or die. I was a fighter. I ain't anymore. You got on me. The kind that'll get you chased down no matter where you go. I had your money, big mama. So is it? I lost it. The only way for you to get me paid is the old-fashioned way. Fight or don't fight. You might get hurt if you do. 
You will get hurt if you don't. Just take it. I don't want it. It's the type of money that could change somebody's life. Son of a gun! The butcher standing right here in front of me after all these years. You still fight? I am. The lady at the store said you were a fighter, that right? What's wrong with that? Why do you have to fight tonight? Long story. You ain't no good to me, dead, But you gon' give me a fight. You in a big hole. that got bigger when you started dancing around Big Mama's feet. You can't fight. It's done. You don't gotta do this. It's gonna be all right. There is this great big world out there. And sometimes it spins against you. But sometimes it spins you right into what you need. I can't tell you what you want to hear. That guy will kill you, but I'm not leaving you. You used to be hell, but hell has caught up. Capable no more. Capable of what? You guys taking the test? Yeah, three years ago. We were positive. Felt like a weight had been lifted. I founded this institute to take the risk out of love. No more uncertainty, no more wondering if you've chosen the right partner, no more divorce. We were the first to build the machines to conduct the test to make the bond of love stronger. I really want to work here. A lot of famous people study there. Really? Like who? Ginger Spice. She's my favorite. I know. So you'll be shadowing Amir. He's already one of our most successful instructors. What's the one thing you love most about Maria? Take your time. I love her hair. It's soft. It's a nice answer. It's nice. The truth is, we're all achingly lonely and we're endlessly searching for ways to fill that void. Can I ask you something? Why do you work at the Institute? Maybe you understand love a little better. I really want to learn how the exercises help you connect. Why are we doing this? I thought it'd be fun. It's just messy, that's all. I think it's normal to get into a, a bit of a routine. I think relationships should be worked on every day. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. I was wondering if it was possible that one person could be in love with two people at the same time. It's a biological impossibility. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I need to tell you something. Please let me go. At Mallard, your work consists of pushing the mill. Failure to meet your daily quota will result in a punishment. The employee with the fewest points will be terminated. When do I go home? 
are well on your way. Oh, shit! You still don't believe the rules apply to you. Perhaps you would respond to other incentives. You took everything from me! What is this? What is this? You're still asking questions. Walk through the door. Prepare your mind for a transformative experience by Mallard. You're a crucial part of our team. For life. Pressure's all right, Gary? It's perfect. Is there any area in particular you want me to focus on today? Um... Gary, how many guys have you done this with? You're the first guy that I've ever been intimate with. I had a wife. She left. I really don't know what to say. I mean, words of affirmation is not my love language. It's more like... <laughs> I've been alive for nearly half a century and I haven't actually lived even a second of it. Gary, I'm gonna help you. Let's find someone for you. Oh my God, there's so many hot guys. I think that this might just be too much. Oh, too late, he's already on his way. Wait, what? Hello. What's up, bro? Just want to get in and get out. Oh, you can get in all right. It's a gorgeous landing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm calling 911. Gary, no accidents happened. It was your first night being gay. Did you really think you were going to make any mistakes? Fuck, you bled through the tarp. It's mountain ashwood. It's really porous. Oh, my God, you're so gay. Oh. Are you a cop? No. Wait, are you? No. Good, because the dark web's built on trust. Come on! This is what it's like. This is what it's like. I am like human paupers. I open anyone up. I'm really glad I met you. Even if multiple people are dead because of it. Dripping in diamond, a thousand eyes. Watching silence as we get high. Church girls know how to kneel. Where'd you kill him? Oh, we didn't oh, right him. outside. You moved the body? Uh, we just in the closet. You guys ever seen Gone Girl? Just, just apart with Ben Affleck's dick. Gary. Angel Falls, I give you Christmas. The lights are so pretty. This is perfect. Oh, what did you eat? still haunts me. Time to let that go. No one cares. Everyone would be better off if I was never born. Did you see that? Did the power go out? Oh my god. I stood under the aurora and said everyone would be better off if I never existed. Well wish granted. The angel strikes every couple of weeks. How can that be? Do I know you? It's Winnie. You know that. Okay. This her? Hi. Hi, I'm Henry Waters. You're safe now. He's not going to get you. No one in this town knows me. Who are you? Dad. You weren't around to stop him, so he just kept going. He likes killing. I'm here now. Let's have some fun. Hey, you. Hey. Merry Christmas. We gotta stop him and get my life back. You'd be safe now. Please. <laughs> Next Goal Wins is a true story about the worst soccer team in the world, American Samoa. I can honestly say it's the worst bunch of players I've ever come across. All I want is just one goal. One goal. I went into this not knowing anything about soccer, and by the end of the film, I knew less. It's a story about triumph over adversity. That's really the thing that attracted me to this. Soccer's not in their DNA. They're weak. They are not weak. Jump, jump, stop, you go wrong. This is the ultimate feel-good underdog film. 
It's fun, it's uplifting, and it's about hope. We've worked too long and hard for this. Are you with me, my team? I've got no, my ankle is